Yo, hi guys, welcome to Lads Manor. I'm Leg, and today we're taking you on a little adventure with this little beastie, ain't we? Yeah. And we're off up the woods today. We're going for a little explore, a little bit of a journey. See what we see, see what we find. Um, I love the woods. I love getting out of the woods, and the dog loves it too. It does her the world of good. But I don't know whether you can see. Look at all these. All these trees, this nice little lane we're in. Oh, fuck it out. Nearly tripped. So I went down here the other day. You've got like um, bike tracks up there. All the, all the berms and all of that. I have to get up there one day on a bike. But they're not too mental, not like a bike park, but they're just a bit of fun. A bit of fun for just up the road. So, way! Yeah. Nearly caught that on camera. Look at some of these trees. I'll give you a spin round look. Some of these trees. It's lovely up here. Now you can't hear the cars. Here we go, here goes nut nut. Let me take you off the lead, darling. Help. Sit. Sit. Good girl, well done. I'm gonna take you off. Just because it's a bit of a handful. Got my hands full. Go on, free. Go on then. She'll come up here 100 mile an hour in a second. This bit of this bit of woods looks really dead. We just went past a bit a minute ago with all the all the bluebells and everything. Kelly! <whistles> come on! <whistles> Caught me whistles even gone today, can't whistle properly. Good girl, here she comes. Good girl. Oh you forgot your treat! Here you are! Forgot your treat, darling. There you go. Bit of meat. Lovely bit of meat. So as I say, the dog is now just gone seven months old. English bull mastiff. Hell of a character, big teddy bear. Um, so I thought I'd get her out. She's been sat in like a very good girl today. She's gone all, all cuddly and needy. So we all know what that means, about seven months old. Um, so I thought I'd take her out for a little walk today. Get her up the woods. It's nice and quiet up here. You don't ever bump into anyone. Get a little leg stretched. Here we go. Look back in the bluebells. Can you see all these? All these green things. Two, three weeks, as I say. They're going to be up. They're going to be lovely and blue. Sort of beginning of May. It's going to look awesome up here. It's going to look lovely up here. All the colours up here. Um, we'll come back up here then. But I just thought, you know what? Today, I've been stuck in. I want to get out. So I thought we'd get out. And we go trekking through the woods. I'll bring the camera with me. I'll bring you guys with me. Go see what we find. I mean, most of the time I walk up here, pheasants, deers, pigeons. Nothing too extreme. Same as what you get in the bloody uh, city, pigeons, don't you? But look at some of these trees. You know. Hey, leave. Come up. Here's a good girl. Well done. Ignore me. See how all the road's been turned up. It's from maybe have the rain and it all runs down. It just washes everything straight down the end, doesn't it? And there's houses at the bottom of here. I have all the places to put the houses. I put them right at the bottom. I want my house smack bang in the middle of the woods. Cool, a tree down over there. That one like that the other day. Big old tree, tree roots. So we're getting up to this bit here now. And it goes from big like, pine trees to yew trees and I don't know if you can see look at this look how it's like a like a nice little tunnel and you've got all the yew trees I'll be taking you up Kingley Vale probably probably later on this week actually we'll be doing a video out there with Cali Bear but you see how they all twist how they all entwine and get all their yew trees um, you see the roots on them, really quite cool looking things I think. I'm a bit of a, a, bit of a nature freak, me. There's no humping trees though, no hugging trees, none of that. But I love the outdoors, absolutely love the outdoors. I love the adrenaline. As you may notice, not all my videos are going to be on dog walking, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> I've got um, kayaking and stuff coming with the dogs. Lots of adventures with the dogs. Because of, if you don't know me... 
I am a dog guy, I live for dogs, I love my dogs. So a lot of my channel will be based around dogs. Look at these yew trees still, look. Loads of them. It's awesome, isn't it? Nice and quiet. Yeah, man, I love where I live. Best thing I've done was move. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we're going to take up Kingley Vale probably later on, later on this week or next week. And we'll get some footage up there. There's ancient yew trees up there. And um, they say, like, they used to have witches and things all go and do their worshipping all around these, these ancient old trees. Not these ones, but the ones at Kingley Vale. You'll see them. Hit that subscribe button and you'll catch it in the next few videos. I do happen to know, Wednesday, as all goes well and we've got some nice weather, I'm going to be taking you guys up somewhere special which I've heard of in the woods and apparently there's an old abandoned church, um, about 150 years old and it's smack bang in the middle of the woods. So I thought that's going to be a cool one, I'd love to explore that. So we're going off up there, that's going to happen Wednesday. So if you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you like the videos and we'll see where we end up. Look at this big clearing here now. That's a great clearing, we've got crossroads. We're gonna end up coming back down that way, where that other gate is. So, you off are you darling? You off without me? Off without me, she is, look. Good girl, good girl for waiting. Can you sit down? The train is going in, sit. She's a good dog, to be honest with you, aren't you, gently? What you got on your nose? You've been, been in the sand. Got sand on your nose, haven't you? So I don't know whether you've noticed guys, well I've been chatting, I've been walking up here and I noticed there's a lot of bunkers up here just off on the sides and we're in the middle of the fucking woods. Um, there's one over there, I might show you it on the way back depending on how my battery's looking. But I mean there's nothing around, nothing around, just big electrical pylons. And I don't know whether you can see all these, look we've got drains and drains and drains and drains. Oi, leave that alone, don't eat that, come on. Better keep moving. Look, and we've got drain lids, drain covers. Well, there's nothing here. It's just, just woodland and trees. So, I do know, sometimes out in the middle of the nowhere, they, they do build bunkers, underground bunkers. And they have quite, it's quite surprising some of the stuff they have. Now, I don't know what those signs mean there. I'm guessing it's something to do with water just due to we're out in the middle of nowhere it's not going to be too much come on cows good girl we are you've got your treat mate come on don't know whether you can see look at these trees guys these big old trees here they're pretty cool aren't they all rotten down i'll take you up there some days and i'll start moving some of these logs we'll see if we can find any snakes and stuff um probably will find a lot of snakes and insects and bugs and that but that's for another day today i'm with a dog and i'm just getting out for a walk i'm just going to give you a, a bit of a tour around and see what we come across i mean see see here it's all been cut down so that must have been cleared for something and then you've got the drain covers up there bang in the comments guys if you think you know what those signs meant or what those drains are for but we are in the middle of nowhere there's nothing here nothing at all as i say the other side of the gate there's a big bunker and i clocked it the other week i said that's a, that's a, that's a bunker there right out in the middle of nowhere i wonder what it's for but again you'll notice we've got all those drains there so i think there's potentially another bunker around because of the ground is so uneven, the trees are cut down. You know, like this side, you can see this side. This side hasn't been touched. I mean, maybe I'm looking into it a bit. There's probably no buried gold here or king's treasure, guys, but um, I just thought it was cool. Just, it's odd when you're walking through the woods, you're out in the middle of nowhere, to all of a sudden come to a clearing with drains and things there, it's it's a bit odd. I was thinking, cool, someone's got a grow room. Someone's got a grow room. I'm fucking moving in. But, oh, here we go. 
Here we go, this looks like a bunker. I think we found another bunker, guys. This is, yeah, yeah this is a bunker, yeah. So, you see down there, we've got a big, big hole. More trees being cleared. And then over here, behind me, look at this, there's definitely, yeah, nearly went over again. There's a, definitely a water bunker here. I think that's water. That must be water. That's fenced off, it's got all green things there. That is being used. That's not the kind of bunker I'm talking about what they got down there. Down there, they got something really overgrown and hidden and that. Oh, geez. Look what I've just found, guys. Can you see that? What is this? Wait, 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 wait. There's police tape here. Can you see this, guys? Wait, Callie, sit. Sit. There's police tape here. I don't know whether you can see this crime scene. What do you think was here then? Looks like an old electrical box, maybe. Do not cross the line. The tape's old. See police tape? That's old, mate. Leave that. It's like they come down here. Don't know what it could be. So I've gone off track a bit now, guys. Look, again, I'm on the big mounds. There's such big mounds here. It makes you wonder. Cows, come up. Big old pine trees. It's, see, this has all been cut down and cleared. All the branches all been fell. So what do you think? Drop in the comments. What do you think that police tape was there for? Do you reckon it might have been someone hang himself, mightn't it? Because if I've noticed up here, they've cut all the branches down there. So all the dead wood and that, so it's probably something. Could be a stolen car. Someone burnt out a stolen car, but there's no no burn marks on the ground, so I don't think it'd be that. Come on, cows, get move on. Good girl, slowly, slowly, you hurt yourself, love. So, there's like old electrics down there, like an electrical box or something, eh? Bit odd. So there you go, there you have it guys, so we're in the middle of the fucking woods, in the middle of nowhere. We've come across, I'll show you the bunker in a bit, hopefully my battery lasts. Hopefully I'm recording actually, let's check. Yeah, I'm still recording. So that's a start, I've got the footage. Yeah, so I wonder what that was, maybe someone broke into this thing or something. And stole some electrical equipment. God knows. But I reckon that, that there, that's definitely, that's a water bunker. That. They've got the big fucking machines out the, at the top. There's not that many electrical pylons going to it or anything. So I reckon that's water just being up here where it is. Cool, look at this. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you can see. What are we coming to now? I thought we were in the middle of blood nowhere. What's this? Let's go have a look. Let's see what it says on this gate, if it says what this bunker's for. I haven't seen any signs saying I'm trespassing, but it looks like I'm coming up to a big timber yard now. High level WSR. Water for life, southern water. There you go, so that's what that bunker is, water. Not as dim as I look with my funny haircut, am I? But we've got all, looks like they've been going over there, start cutting over there, cutting these down. So they're obviously harvesting up here. Just put my finger on Callie, there's a pheasant over there. I don't want her to run over and get it. Um, I mean, she's pretty good, to be honest with you, but got to be a responsible dog owner and all that especially if you've got a guard breed dog like these dogs get some respect for other people and other animals and keep your dog under control as I say my dog is kept under control but she's seven months old and she will chase after some animals she probably wouldn't hurt them but I'd still rather not stress animals out look at this guy sit sit down look at this wait I don't know whether you can see. Look at all these trees. That was a good wait, wasn't it? Sit! 
no, ignore me. Every dog has its moment. Don't worry, if you've got a puppy and you think, oh God, it's not listening, oh, it's normal, it's fine. Everyone has those problems, Everyone, even people with the best dogs. It's normal, they're animals. They're not always. Sit. See, and now she wants to listen, so she wouldn't listen a minute ago, wait. But now she wants to listen, we'll see if she can, wait. And what I find, if you're trying to do some sort of dog training and train your dog, you see I told her to wait. The best thing to do is give her a second or two. See, I left it too long, she's moved. So we'll try again, cows. <whistles> Here. <whistles> Come on. <whistles> see, she's not listening now, so I'm gonna start walking off. Because once she realises she's on her own, come on! She'll think, oh no, I'm on my own in the middle of nowhere. Look at this big lorry, look. They obviously left the back here because they've got to load up some more, more loads. She'll come running in a second because I've disappeared. Hey, well done, here. Come here. So as I say, we'll try this again with the weight, shall we? And sit. Here. Cows, you going to listen? I'll put you on the lead if you're not. Sit down. Right, wait. So you'll notice this time I'm going to do it really quickly. Good girl. And then I'm going to go back. Tree. Good girl. Wait. Gently. And then I can go a little longer and you build it up. And don't worry, if you get them to five, ten minutes one day, and they'll wait five, ten minutes one day, then the next day you take them out and they won't wait ten minutes, it's back down to two minutes. That's normal, it's okay. Yeah, don't panic, don't think, oh, I'm going back on myself. You're not. You can't train a dog overnight. It takes a long, slow time. You've got to be very patient training dogs. But they get it in the end. Good girl. And we'll try again. Sit. No, see, don't want to go. You shouldn't get angry. You shouldn't get frustrated with them. Just let her do her thing. She'll come back and listen when she wants to. You, you start stressing out with them. Callie, leave that water alone. Thank you. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Stay heel. Stay heel. Well done. Ah, thank you. You can get out of that. What was I saying? Yeah, don't, don't get, don't lose your cool and get all angry with your dog if they're not listening. It's quite normal at a young age. When they get older. They don't want to listen when they're older and they know they're taking a piss. By all means, come down on them. I have a ton of bricks. But, well, they're puppies and they're young. You've got to give them a chance to learn, you know. You think how long it takes a human to grow up and learn to communicate. You know, and a lot of people expect that from a dog after a couple of months. And it's, it's a lot to ask. It's a big ask. But, um, they do say these bull breeds are quite hard to train for the kind of dog. They're not overly intelligent to be honest with you they're clever very clever but compared to some dogs they're not brilliantly intelligent so you have to have some patience with them sit you see this so she knows what sit is here look now i come down low she's going to come in good girl sit down and now she wants to listen so can you see it's just a different body language if i'm stood up i'm being bossy good girl she don't want to know but then if you bring yourself down to her level we're on a level Talk to her like a baby. Well, come. She'll start listening a lot better. Learn your dog psychology, and you'll end up having a fantastic dog. Fantastic animal to be around. Look at these crossroads here. So, you can see here, there's a lot of bins on the side, metal bins. If you're wondering what they're for, they're pheasant feeders. So, the pheasants get their food out of them. Um, get a lot of feathers. There's deer over there, big deer over there. Can you see them in the trees? I'll flip him round. Trouble is with deers, they blend in. He's running. You might see his white bum taking off. We are going that way, so you might see him cut through in a minute. If I'm a bit quieter, he might stop. And you might get to see him a bit better. Yeah. So it looks like we've come across a big old logging yard. Um, I'm not too worried about Callie chasing after the deers because of she's a bit fat to catch them, to be honest. She never catch a deer. Don't even think she'd run after a deer. I think he's a bit big, it'd scare her. It's a bit of a puff. Bit of a puff. You're a bit of a puff, 
Did someone call you Puff? Good girl. Where's that deer gone? He come over here, didn't he? he come over here. If I hold you up, can you see? See a deer over there, guys? He did come down here. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. I think he see us and he thought, nah, that, that geezer's got a well dodgy do. I'm off, mate. That's what I think he thought. So as I say, guys, nothing too adventurous today. Well, saying that, found some sort of crime scene. What do you think that was then? Probably a stolen electrical box or something from that. I reckon that bunker, Way! Uh, nearly went, nearly went again. I reckon that bunker got broken into. And someone put something there and tried smashing it all up, getting the electricals out of it. That's what I reckon's happened. You're a nutter. You're a nutter. You're a nutter. Watch your legs on that wood. Don't hurt yourself. So, yeah. If you've got a bull mastiff, give us a thumbs up. Tell us how old your mastiff is in the comments. English mastiff, bull mastiff. If you've got a big dog, you've got a big dog, tell us in the comments what kind of dog you've got. How old is it? What's its most favourite thing it likes doing? Callie's favourite thing she likes doing. What would you say it is, cows? Your most favourite thing she likes doing is probably eating. She is a right pudding. Most of these women are, you know? Bit of food and that's it. Yeah, no food. Oh, Jesus. The storm has risen. So. Yeah. That is tip number one. You've got a girlfriend. Yeah, you'll never have a wife if you don't feed her. That's for sure. So, as you can see, we've just got more trails now. This is going to bring us down, I believe, should bring us down to the other gate, what we didn't go up. And then, as long as I've got enough battery, let's check this battery. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Doesn't tell me the battery. But, I believe... If I've got enough battery, I'll show you this other bunker down here, which is a lot more hidden. It's odd, this other bunker. It is odd. I don't think it's a water bunker. I'm not sure what it is. What was that? Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. I'm just going to show you this. Look at this tree. I nearly went straight past that. Kelly. You know What's this? See, look, I'll take myself down again and she'll listen. Sit. Good girl. You wait. Wait. Look at this tree, guys. I'm just going to show you this tree quick. Look. If you ever find yourself up the woods and there's loads of fallen trees like this, first thing you do, look up. Check you're not standing under loads of dead branches because they fall, they'll wallop you, you're dead, you're gone. And you're in the middle of the woods, no one's going to come and get you. Look at this hole. Not you, cows. Look in there. Hole in the bottom of the tree. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, always step on the log and not over the log especially if you're in a foreign country where there's lots of snakes because if you step over the log a snake can come out and bite your leg okay also if you're going to walk on logs you see like the logs what was stacked up don't walk on logs they could fall and they can crush you this is a big old tree which is probably safe enough to walk along but don't do this at home. Don't do it yourself. Oh God, here she goes. She's on it now. Carefully, carefully, you'll hurt yourself, carefully. Don't get carried away. So you must be careful if you're ever walking on dead logs and that. Make sure they're solid before you step up. If you're somewhere where there's snakes, don't step over the log, step on the log, okay? If you've got stacks of logs, if you're anywhere near a logging yard, you never ever climb the logs. They can always be loose, they'll fall on you, you're buggered. Especially out in the middle of nowhere, no one's going to come and help you. Good girl, well done, that was a good jump. Here you are, here you are. Get your feet right. Do you want to walk this way? Let's see your balance. Biggie used to be awesome at balance. You got it? Well done. Okay, can you sit down? I'm going to get her to sit down and try and get her to get off in a controlled way, rather than just jumping and hurting herself. They're such big dogs, you've got to be careful of the joints. They do tell you not to get them jumping and stuff, but I know with Big, he was fit as a fiddle. And little Callie Bear, to be honest with you, she eats loads, but she's bloody fit. So I'm not too worried at the moment about her jumping. I don't want to do massive ones because of she bugger herself up, but physically 
keep moving, it does some good. Like it does me good. If I don't get out, if I don't do much, I seize up. Oh, I feel rough as hell. I feel really low, I feel really depressed. And as soon as I'm out, you know. I wish you guys could smell what I can smell. It smells like really fresh cut cut wood up here. Smell that smells really nice up here. Woodland. Just the birds tweeting away. Look at this tree, look. Didn't have much root mass on that, did he? He come straight out. It looks like the roots on that. Looks like someone could have pushed that over quite easily, that one. Come on, cows, get out from under my feet. Good girl. Lots of trees down here. Lots of big old trees cut down. I'm guessing they're going to cut them up. Cut them up and use them. But again, they look like they've been there a while now. They're probably a bit dead. They're dead, those ones. No animals. I thought there'd be a bit more animals up here, guys. It's a shame I couldn't catch that deer. Leave. Don't eat mud, you tramp. Alright, Callie's in a pheasant. Leave! Hey! Come here! So, as you can see, she saw it, she went, but she... Oi! Come on! She does listen, but she probably run past me now and ignore me. Come on, oi! It's me here! It's me here! You see how I change my voice? Yeah, I change my voice really high and squeaky, really fun. Well done. And she's getting nearly a whole handful of treats there. And that's because of, she's chose to come back over chasing a wild bird. What probably smells really good. Which to be honest with you, it probably is more fun chasing through all that thicket and chasing birds than coming back to me so but again like I said guys so you see how I changed my voice straight away, really high pitched all of a sudden the dog wants to come back so just little techniques like that little little tips just change it up always change up your training dogs get bored very quick and easy I thought she's gonna take me out then Pigeons! I told you we'd get some pigeons. There's always bloody pigeons. Everywhere you go, you've got pigeon. Go on a bloody boat out at sea and you still find pigeons on a bloody boat. It's mad though, isn't it? Seeing nobody out on the walk, not one person. And that's what I'm saying. You ever find yourself out the way up the woods and you start climbing trees and stuff, which I'm no one to tell you not to, really. I... <laughs> You know, I'm one of those stupid kids what would make camp under a dead tree. But you've got to be careful. You've got to, you've got to know your surroundings and be aware of them. Especially, for instance, I used to love like going off track. Off track is so much more fun than on track. Come on! And, um, yeah, off track is so much more fun than on track. But again, when you're going off track, you will get those deadly branches it's quite windy out today I can hear things falling now up there I mean look at this tree here can you see this one here right there it's got a crack going right the way down it right the way down right up and you can see the top of it's all fallen so it probably wouldn't take much of a gust of wind and that will come straight down and I can hear them creaking so it does show you like you've got to be very very aware What's going on? But I love the woods. Absolutely love getting out. I love where I live. Oh, there's a couple here that have been marked up. They're ready to be taken down. Hey, Jesus, Kelly. Did you catch that, guys? I'll get home and find out I've been recording the sky and not even getting me. There's a bendy old tree there. That we've done it again. Jeez. Another pheasant. Good girl. Two of them and you left it. I don't think she noticed actually, but good girl, come on. So we're coming out now. I don't know if you can see all these big old electricity pylons. I can hear the electric buzzing from. Can you hear that on the camera? So. Probably not the best kind of walk if it's a lightning, thunder and lightning, other than the fall. So as you can see down here, there's a gate. This
this is the gate what we didn't go go through the gate we went through was on the right so we've just done a big big sort of square um doesn't look like my battery's dead yet it looks like i'm just under half battery's not lasting that bad today i'll go show you that that other bunker um see if you guys can think what it is what it might be see if you think it's for water or electric look over there look can you see in there there's like an old drop down over there and i don't know whether you can see there's a i found myself a shovel over there a shovel over there look in the tree shall we go through and have a look over there see what's over there yeah take you for a little explore if we can get through out of the way yeah come under my feet see what we got over here this looks cool this looks prickly if you want to wait there you can there's some holes over here I probably have to put cows on the lead because I don't want any wildlife coming out and savaging her look at this guys Kelly here sit gonna bang her lead on. Sit down, sit down. Listen, sit down. Sit down. Good girl, well done, wait. Sit. Sit. Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Like a good girl, sit. Kelly, sit down. What's this? Do you want it? Yeah. Good girl, well done. Right. That was our boat, wouldn't listen, would she? Look at this. Look what I've found. What do you think? Oh, here we go. What was it? Years and years ago. Some of you might not know this. You might be a bit young for this. But who lives in a house like this? What do you think is living in a house like this? Look at this. Eh? God, this is squelchy. This is soft here. Easy, Cali, easy. You see in these tunnels? Wait, wait. I won't let my dog go in there. Look in there. What's in there? It's like caves, little caves and stuff up here. There's your spade I saw from a mile off. That's cool, mate. Oh, leave that. That's a string. Kelly, sit. Right, I'm going in. I'm going to see what's in there. What do you think's in there? Do you think that's a rabbit? You falling? It's all sand. It's slippery as hell. It's got no grip. You can see in there, guys. You look in there, see what's up there. I'm going to go along to the other. Oh, it's got your cows. It's all falling down. Over. Over. Over here. There you go. Right, watch that. That's all about to collapse again, guys. Like I said, you know, I do stupid shit. And then before you know it, it's all coming down on me. But that's probably more dangerous than the, um, what's it here? that's probably more dangerous in there than climbing on the logs. You've got something white in there. Big old rock in there. And canister in there. So there's your little explore, guys. I'm gonna go get back on the track. Go have a look over here. I think there's another hole over here. We've still got battery. Yeah, we're still on. We're still on. There's a little hole over here as well. Branch is coming down. It's mad. Very dangerous. And that stuff, I don't know whether you saw, but you literally touch it, it just flakes. It just flakes away. I mean. It's completely rotten out. Right. Let's move on, cows. Let's go. Hey, move. Let's go find our way back. Where do we get in here? This way, wouldn't it? It was through that way. Come on. Watch the pricklies, my princess. Three, and we made it out. I tell you what, I will do one day. I think I'm going to come up here. I'll get a torch. 
and I'll bang it down that hole and we'll have a look in that hole. But I don't want to disturb any wild animals if it is their home. It's not very nice, some ugly fucker with a hairdo what looks like an emu shit on his head outside their house. Trying to nose in their little home, innit? So. so anyway, that's the gate we went through. That's the gate we've just come out of, as you know. And... Just in here, in this side, my arms are really aching, I'm going to rest you there. Just in this side, I reckon that's a bunker. Just from my experience, which I haven't had much experience, but just from my experience with like the woods, obviously we've got this fence here and there's like an old brick. Uh, have a sniff. Can you see that old like brick, brick wall there? It used to be some sort of outhouse or something obviously i'm not going in there today that's another day that's probably a better day without the dog that i don't know whether you can see these trees will come down so again you've got all these broken trees up here look at this one i've stood under move it so we've got all this fence in here flip your back there you go that hurts me yeah more like that so we've got all this fence in here and in here leave like it just looks odd. It's just not it's not normal for the middle of the woods, is it? You don't find stuff like that in the middle of the woods. Well, from my experience, I haven't normally anyway. And then you come to this bit. Nice little clearing. And sure enough, there's another bunker. Let's see what it says on there. I haven't seen what it says on there. So what do you think it is? Do you think it's, it says it's water again. It says it's another water bunker, look. Yeah. Knightsfield Low Level Reservoir. But again, that's a bunker, mate. Another one. Just odd. I don't know. Why would you want a, a bunker with water right out in the middle of nowhere here? It's not even like there's a river up here or anything like this. It's just so odd. Let's go this way. Let's see what we've got path up here again when I say you go off trail fences fuck fences all come down what is that what the fuck is that I've never seen one of them in my life what is that cows look at this guys what is this post do you know what that post is it looks like an outdoor weird little it's obviously something to do with the water bunker, obviously. But it just looks so odd, like an odd... ...random pole. And I don't understand why it'd be so randomly placed there. I mean, look, it's just... Walk on. I have conditioned my dog to fawns and thistles. So before you think, oh, you poor dog, getting dragged through the thistles. She loves it, she can't feel it. Um, I like a nice, hardy, tough dog, not a faggot. And that's what I've made, a nice hardy beast. So as you can see, this is the bunker here. Look, we've got steps going up to some sort of open shed. We're not going to go in there and have a nose. We're just going to have a little walk around and see where we end up, I think. Look at this pipe. What the hell is that? It's definitely like some overflow water pipe. Definitely, because it's got like some shower head on it. We okay, move on glass down here as well again remember what I said guys if you're living somewhere where there's likely to be snakes you do not step over the log you step on the log and the snakes won't get you I can see squirrels up here I can see squirrels and lots of bent up metal Whee! that's a killer Christ look at the spikes sticking out of the ground you fall on that at night, you know about it. But again, it's probably why you don't go off trail. Fences. We're now in a completely fenced off area by the looks of things. Look at this tree root. Look at this, that's cool. Jesus, I can't move it though. Heavy. That's cool, isn't it? Right, we'll go to the edge. We'll see where we're at. 
see if we can get through this way. I don't think you can. And if not, we'll have to backtrack on ourselves and go back. You all right, cows? All gone? Good girl, we'll go through. Nice. So there's a bit of outbacking for you. How's my battery? My battery's going down now, guys. So I'm gonna try and make my way back as quick as we can. We've got to walk through here. Yeah, see, there's a big, big fuck off electrical cable running through there now. Oh, there's the edge. I'm not gonna go into that bit. It looks like we can get round this way. I think we can get round this way, guys. But well, the good news is there's not any hands sticking out of the ground. I've not come across any bodies. Okay, so that's good news. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. As I say, it's a lot more fun off trail, isn't it? Than when you're walking down the trail. The trail's a bit boring. See all the bluebells again? We're coming to a bit with all the bluebells. And there's our path. I can see our path. We're behind the fucking fence a bit, though. But you don't want to be in this bit. We want to be out in the other bit, cows, I think. This way. I think we're in the area we shouldn't be in. I think. Come. We're in the bit what says danger deep water, but there's no water here. So just keep your eyes open. I'll start sinking into the ground. You have to come and rescue me GoPro, rescue me dog. To be fair, my dog's pretty clever. She'll probably just get herself home from here. She knows where she's going. Oh, Jesus, sorry, kicked, you in the, kicked her in the chin. Fence. Oh yeah, we'll go over that fence. The fucking fence is huge, it's bigger than me. The fence is bigger than me, guys. I'm gonna go up and I'll go somewhere where the fence ain't to pick. Saw some deers in here the other day. You might see some more deers over here. They probably jumped that fence, but that's a big fence to jump. It's barbed wire on it. I'm gonna have to lift cows over it. I don't wanna lift her over it to find out I can't get over it. Because then I won't be able to lift her back. Whee! They thought of this well, didn't they? Let's put a good girl. Let's put a fence in. So if someone does end up on the wrong side, they can't get back over. We're gonna go over here, but see look. More like bunkers. More bunker looking things. Right cows, we're gonna go over there. Because there's a log to step on here. Look at this. Perfect. Right, you, I'm gonna put a GoPro down for a minute. Here comes a skill, guys. Let me set this up. You're gonna like this. This is a serious bit of skill here for me. I'm gonna lift the dog off. Dog off. I'm gonna lift the dog over without catching her on that fence. Legs up. Good girl. Wait. Did I do that off camera? I think I did, didn't I? I'm going to set my camera over here. Don't knock my camera over, Cali Bear. And wait for me. I'm not over yet. Mad. See, you see me? Now what's this skill level? Skill level 86. Whee! Good girl. Good girl for waiting. Flipping made it, didn't I? I saw my thing back out now. What have I done? Oh, that's made me right kerfuffle it. How's our battery looking? Really low. Let's get a move on, get home, shall we, Cali Bear? Back on trail. Fawns in my legs. Uh. Onkin! How disgusting. It's gonna go on YouTube. So yeah, guys, as I say, Fit. Jesus, that's buggered me that has jumping that. I don't think it was jumping it, I think it's lifting that pudding. So heavy. Um yeah, so the battery's looking quite low guys. Uh, if it cuts out, that's why. 
So I'll do my outro now, just in case it does. So, um, thanks for watching. That's our little adventure for one day. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Tell us what you thought in the comments. We've got loads of stuff coming to the channel. It's not all dog walking, trust me. We've got, if you go check out our store, it's ladsmanor.com or ladsmanor.co.uk. We've got all sorts of days out experiences, diving with sharks, um, white water rafting, skydiving, hot air ballooning, you name it. Um, go karts, drift, drift days. There's so much stuff on there and that's all coming to this channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these adventures later on this year. Now we're out of lockdown. I'm well, not out yet, are we? But once we're out of lockdown, I've got some mad stuff coming to this channel, guys. Um, I'm gonna be going on a lot more mountain biking. My shoelace is undone, so let me just do my shoelace up. I'm going on a lot more mountain biking. Um, I'm getting some of those off-road skates. And I'll be doing some stuff on the off-road skates too. Watch my camera, don't knock it over, Pud. Um, also, diving with sharks, I think I said that, didn't I? Bungee jumping, I'm gonna do bungee jumping. Um, that's probably gonna be very soon, actually. Next few weeks of bungee jumping's coming. Uh, but again, as I say, it's not just experiences and days out. We've got loads of stuff. We've got top of the range designer watches, um, walking gear, hiking gear, trekking gear. I'm an outdoorsy guy, so dog products. The dogs, I don't know whether you could tell or not, but obviously she's a baby. But you might have seen on my intro to this video, my other dog, Biggie. Well now, sadly, Biggie's passed away. He left us, sadly, about eight months ago. And he was an absolute legend of a dog. But he was my working dog, he was my life. And um, he's what started off our YouTube, actually. He started everything off that dog. And um, we do a lot of working stuff with the dogs. So you'll notice on the website, there's a dog section with a heck of a lot of dog products. Um, it's because I live for the dogs. If you're looking for new tech, top of the range tech, they've got dog trackers you can track their fitness. They've got trackers so you can track your dog. They've got dog doorbells so they can ring the bell to come in and out. Ball launchers, if, if you just want your dog to just play on its own and leave you alone. There's things where they can put a ball in and launch the ball. There's so much on there, guys. I'm not going to go through it all. Hit the link in the description. Go check it out. There might be something you like. I mean, um, there's clothes on there. There's outdoor gear on there. Sports gear. Skating. I love my skating. Skateboards, longboards power boards, e-scooters, been out on a few e-scooters, there's e-scooters e on there, e-bikes, mountain bikes, helmets, safety gear, kid stuff. Looks like I'm listing it when I said I wouldn't list it, didn't I? Um, sunglasses, we got so much stuff on there guys. There's another deer up there, it's just come down and cut through the road. Just see his little white bum cut through. You come down there, you come down there and you went Somewhere over here. He must have gone through there. Probably in their garden. Can you see him up there? Can you see a deer up there? He definitely come through, mate. I saw him. No, he's there. There he is. Leave. It's a baby. It's a baby deer. You're not chasing him. It's a baby. Oh, there's two. Three. Can you sit four? Can you see them all, guys? Look at all those deers, look. Can you see them all up there? That's cool, isn't it? Hey? I told you we'd see deers. Baby deers, adult deers. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm Leg from Lads Manor. This is my little caddy bear. Hope you enjoyed our walk today and our adventure. As I say, hit that subscribe button because you ain't gonna wanna miss what's coming. You ain't gonna wanna miss what's coming. I've got some really fun stuff coming. So, um, it's gonna be worth a watch. It's gonna be worth a click, I promise you that. Peace guys, thanks for watching, I'm Leg. Over and out.